In the season two finale of The Rings of Power, Celebrimbor meets his end, but he leaves behind a striking prediction about Sauron's fate. His last scenes in Amazon's Lord of the Rings series are intense, showing how he stands up to Sauron, even as the Dark Lord takes his life. Celebrimbor points out that Sauron is fooling himself with his belief that he's trying to save Middle-earth. He also eerily predicts Sauron's future, specifically mentioning that one particular ring will ultimately lead to the villain's defeat down the line. Hear the dying words of Celebrimbor, he says to Sauron during the Rings of Power Season 2's finale. The Rings of Power shall destroy you. And in the end, I foresee one alone shall prove your utter ruin. Celebrimbor is clearly talking about the One Ring, even though it hasn't been created yet in the series. Despite this, he accurately predicts the ending of the Lord of the Rings, which briefly unsettles the villain of the Rings of Power. The One Ring ultimately leads to Sauron's downfall, as losing it to Isildur temporarily defeats him in the Second Age, and Frodo's destruction of it permanently ends Sauron in the Third Age. At this point in the Rings of Power Season 2, the One Ring hasn't been created yet. Instead, Sauron is focused on manipulating Celebrimbor to forge the other Rings of Power. However, when he eventually makes the One Ring, he pours much of his power into it. This decision turns out to be a significant error for him, both before and during the Lord of the Rings. Since Sauron links his power to the One Ring, he meets his end when it is destroyed, just as Celebrimbor predicts at the conclusion of The Rings of Power Season 2. It's fitting that Celebrimbor foresees Sauron's downfall, especially since he plays a role in starting the villain's rise through the Rings of Power. While viewers might wonder how Celebrimbor could envision Sauron's future so accurately, his final words become clearer when considering how closely they collaborated in earlier episodes. Celebrimbor's last words to Sauron are surprisingly accurate, but they fit well within the story of The Rings of Power Season 2. After Sauron takes on the disguise of Anatar, he works closely with Celebrimbor to create the Seven Rings for the Dwarves and the Nine Rings for Men. The time they spend together in Celebrimbor's forge helps them understand each other better. Celebrimbor starts to grasp Sauron's thought process even before he discovers the villain's true identity. Given this context, it's no wonder the Lord of Eregiorn can foresee Sauron's next move. Not only can Celebrimbor sense Sauron's intentions, but he also has faith in the elves and other races of Middle-earth. He shows this multiple times in the Season 2 finale, maintaining hope even as he faces his own end. Celebrimbor's optimism for the future leads him to believe that Sauron will eventually be defeated, even if it takes a while for the rest of Middle-earth to come together. His insight into the villain's plans helps him envision how this defeat could unfold, resembling the events of the return of the king. Celebrimbor's hopeful outlook not only hints at Sauron's defeat, but also connects to Frodo and Sam's journey many years before the Lord of the Rings. In his goodbye to Galadriel, he tells her that light will triumph over darkness. He suggests that it's not armies that will conquer the evil in Middle-earth, but rather this light. This light is embodied in every character who stands against Sauron during the Second and Third Ages. It's the same light that enables Frodo and Sam to ultimately defeat the villain for good. Sam and Frodo didn't rely on physical strength or armies to defeat Sauron in The Lord of the Rings. Instead, it's their bravery that leads to the villain's downfall, catching him off guard and driving them to destroy the One Ring even when hope feels out of reach. Celebrimbor's speech in The Rings of Power Season 2 foreshadows this outcome, hinting at the end of Sauron's story and the victory of Sam and Frodo. It's unfortunate that the Amazon series won't directly connect to the Lord of the Rings adaptations, as it beautifully ties together everything that happens. 
Charlie Vickers, a star of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, explains the emotional moment when Sauron is seen crying after killing Celebrimbor in the season 2 finale. Even though Sauron successfully deceives the legendary elven smith into creating the Nine Rings for men, which are tainted with his dark essence, Celebrimbor ultimately realizes the truth and entrusts the rings to Galadriel before sending them away from Eregiorn. In his desperation to find out where the rings are hidden, Sauron tortures Celebrimbor, but the elf only mocks him for his deceit and downfall. In a fit of rage, Sauron fatally shoots him with an arrow, an act that surprisingly brings the aspiring Dark Lord to tears. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter after the season 2 finale of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Vickers discusses how killing Celebrimbor impacts Sauron differently than the many other lives he has taken. He suggests that Sauron holds a level of respect for Celebrimbor and his skills, and it's the elf's last words that push him over the edge. Vickers describes this act as quite un-Sauron-like, noting that this unexpected show of emotion adds depth to the scene, making it more engaging for viewers. It's strange how I got emotional during that scene. I didn't plan it. It just happened. When I think back on it, I try to understand why, but sometimes there's no explanation. Thinking about why he might have felt that way, I can see a few reasons. In the show, he often kills people without much thought. But with Celebrimbor, it's different. They've been partners in crime, and Sauron respects him. At this moment, Sauron is very angry because Celebrimbor has hidden the rings. Sauron needs them, but Celebrimbor refuses to tell him where they are. Sauron threatens to torture him until he finds out. Celebrimbor tells Sauron that he's now a slave to his creations. I think this really hits Sauron, and he loses control and kills him. This makes him very angry and upset because it's not like him to lose control. It's more interesting to watch than him just killing everyone. Although Amazon has not officially renewed The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, for a third season yet, recent reports suggest that confirmation of the show's return is anticipated before the end of October. This means audiences can look forward to discovering more about Vickers' portrayal of Sauron, which has already shown to be quite distinct from the remote and disembodied threat he represents in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings films. While Season 1 of The Rings of Power highlighted Sauron's knack for deceit, Season 2 offered viewers a deeper insight into his origins and dark ambitions. Having been deceived and manipulated by the original Dark Lord, Morgoth, this version of Sauron often comes across as more sympathetic compared to Tolkien's classic villain. His emotional response to killing Celebrimbor in the Season 2 finale adds a layer of moral complexity to his character, which is expected to be further explored in Season 3 and beyond. Moving away from the simpler portrayal of Sauron as pure evil, Vickers' version of the character is one who has become fixated on the idea of control over himself and over Middle-earth. This obsession is likely to culminate in Season 3 of The Rings of Power, where Sauron will finally create the infamous One Ring. However, as the Season 2 finale clearly showed, Sauron is not invulnerable. He is still susceptible to emotional outbursts and flaws. Celebrimbor's last words cut through to a part of Sauron that he perceives as weak, much like his own arrows. This self-doubt is something Sauron will probably try to eliminate as his story unfolds in The Lord of the Rings. The Rings of Power, Season 3, and beyond. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on this channel.